Hi, I'm T. Audio link stuff on avatars is cool and fun and not as hard as it looks, okay? Here's how to do it. You're going to need to use an audio link compatible shader. There are plenty to choose from, but I'll be using Poyomi 8.1.163. The documentation covers all the basics you need to get started. Link in the thing. Optional but very helpful is the audio link Unity package. This will allow you to test audio link directly in the Unity editor, as opposed to building and testing your avatar in VRChat every time you want to make a change. You can import it from the VRChat Creator Companion or manually download it from the repo. If you're just using it to test, the minimal package has everything you need. Link also in the thing. First, we'll get AudioLink itself set up. Import AudioLink. It may ask you to check compatibility and update outdated shaders. I hit no thanks here. Let that finish. Then, in your project window, scroll down to Packages, AudioLink, Runtime, and drag the AudioLink avatar prefab into the root of your scene hierarchy. You can change the YouTube URL for your test track here, or specify an audio clip here. Make the changes you want first. Changes made in play mode are reverted. When you hit play, you should hear your test track start. Now let's configure Poyomi. Under your material, make sure the box next to audio link is checked. Next, under special effects, enable one of the emission slots. Doesn't matter which, they're all the same. Under your emission slot, set the color you want. At this point, setting emission strength to one should turn your material that color. Scroll down a bit and enable audio link for your emission slot. Set your emission multiplier min to zero and max to one. Because audio link splits the audio into four bands, emission multiplier band presents you with four options, and the one you select here will determine which frequency band is used to activate your emission. While every genre and song is different, these guidelines should give you a good overall idea of how the bands will react to certain sounds. Now you can press play and test. That about covers the basics. I encourage you to experiment with different options to make the effect more interesting. If you're feeling adventurous, AudioLink can also be used to manipulate flipbooks, halving, iridescence, and a lot more. If you need any help, feel free to drop by our Discord server and ask in the appropriate channel. Links to the Poyomi and AudioLink Discord servers are below as well. If you want to be the first to know about new AudioLink features and tutorials, get subscribed. That's all for now. See you next time.